Type 1 diabetes, once known as juvenile diabetes, is an autoimmune disease. With the rate of type 1 rising worldwide, TrailNet researchers are looking for ways to prevent or delay the onset of the disease. The Natural History Pathway to Prevention study screams family members of people with type 1. Relatives at higher risk may be eligible to join the oral insulin study, which tests to see if taking a capsule of insulin every day can delay or prevent the progression of type 1 diabetes. When Grant Bellow tested positive for type 1 diabetes antibodies and met eligibility criteria, his parents were given the opportunity to enroll him in the oral insulin study. Hi, I'm Adam Bello. I'm Danny Bello. We decided to enroll our child in the study um, primarily because our oldest son uh, has type 1 diabetes and has had type 1 diabetes for over five years now. And uh, we thought it very important for us to get everyone in our family tested and to find out what the risk was for all of our children. So we were tested right away. The concern that I had obviously was, you know, to learn that our other children either already, you know, had the disease or, you know, or were at risk, at a higher risk. Um, I, I, was, I was petrified, like I didn't want to know. And it took me a year before before I, you know, before I really realized how important it was, you know, living um, with a child who, who has diabetes, you know, and then the thought of having another child have to deal with it was, it seemed like too much. Um, but I knew that we had to know because whatever information we got back, you know, it wouldn't change what was going to happen. And to do anything that we could to try to advance, you know, the chances for a cure, a delay, anything that we could do to potentially advance the science so that someday, you know, hopefully, you know, our son would not have to deal with this disease. As far as taking the medication every day, it's, it's really easy. It's, it's really no inconvenience at all, actually. I mean, he gets his medication every morning with his breakfast, and, um, you know, we just, Danny just leaves out a cup every night, so we just always remember every morning to do it, and we have a little pill box that we use, and so we know if he got his medication or not. Hi, I'm Grant Bello. Um, I like that I could help find a cure, and I don't like that I have to get a needle pricked into me. I have to stay in the hospital for about two hours. Well, you shouldn't be afraid because they put it in really easily and um, it doesn't hurt because they numb it and try to make you feel better. About an hour later, I have to drink this really sweet drink so they could test my blood sugar and see what happened. But I'm happy to help Max and try to find the research for diabetes. I would say to any parent that's thinking about it to just do it, you know. It's frightening, it's scary, just like we talked about, it's like you really, deep down inside, you don't want to know. You don't want to know if you have a child that's at, at risk for this terrible disease. But in the end, that's the only way that we're going to be able to potentially find a cure for the disease or find a way to, to delay the onset or to find out what the triggers are for the disease and move forward, you know, in eventually getting to a cure. So I think the, the simple answer is just do it.